Welcome back to the Sports Perspective TV viewers and subscribers. You know, as always, thank you for tuning in. You know, do appreciate you taking the time out to, to watch the video. And also, you know, interacting with the video. You know, your likes are very important. You know, you sharing your thoughts in the comment section is very important. So I want to say a huge shout out to all of you viewers who keep tuning in to the channel. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button. It will be greatly appreciated as well. So in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about the, the, the warm-up match between the, the West Indies Championship 11 and um, South Africa. Um, there was a brilliant performance by Jeremy Salazano in that match. So we're going to be discussing the, the, the scores, the details of the match, you know, uh, along with the, the performance of the other players as well. Um, and also looking at the, the latest um, ICC rankings that were released um, and looking at the, 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 the movement of West Indian players in those rankings as well. So just stick around to the end of the video, you know, while we, we discuss all of these things. And do remember to like the video. You know, I can't stress this enough. Like the video. You know, it's it's a, a free and easy way for you to um, support the channel along with you watching watching the videos, of course. But your likes are, are very important to um for youtube right um for the youtube algorithm so i really appreciate if you hit that like button right so but getting into straight into the match details now so the west indies um championship 11 so which is players that played in the west indies championship they're currently taking part in a warm-up match for south africa you know as you know south africa and west indies they have a series coming up starting on the 7th of this of this month right the first test match will be so south africa are currently playing a warm-up match and they are going up against the west indies championship 11. um so in the match today um the west indies championship 11 um they they are batting first it's a four-day match right so the west indies championship 11 are batting first and at the end of the day's play right they were uh 245 for six at the end of the day's play right um so, and scores in the match um, as far as batsmen for, for the West Indies um, 11. So, first, before I even give you the score. So, this was the lineup that the West Indies Championship 11 uh, went with. So, they went with Tejan and Chandapal, Jeremy Solazano, Kevin Wickham, Justin Greaves, who is the captain, Casey Carty, who is the, the, the vice captain, um, Amir Jango, Shamar Springer, Joshua Bishop, Anderson Phillips, Brian Charles and Kemar Road. So that is eleven. That that is the eleven that's listed. Um, that's playing much, right? Um, so scores in the match now as far as batting goes, right? So so far, Tejan and Chandapal he got out early to Rabada, um, for for one. Um, Casey Carty, who's the vice captain, he made twenty four of thirty. So he got a start, you know, but wasn't able to capitalize on it. You know, um, a bit disappointing, I would say. You know, considering the fact that Casey Carty is one that. You know, we're all looking, well, I, don't, I can't say all, but, you know, I was looking forward to him, you know, possibly scoring some runs in this match and maybe getting into the West Indies team. And a lot of the commenting, a lot of the commenters do agree with that, with, with me that Casey Carter should probably be, um, be in the team. So it was a bit disappointing to see him not score more than 24 runs. I'm not capital, capitalizing on the start that he got. Kevin Wickham, he went, went without scoring. Uh, Justin Graves, who is also another player that, you know, they could possibly uh, make it into the West Indies squad for the South Africa series. He made 24. Uh, Amir Jango, you know, he made 30 uh, before getting out. So again, uh, um, both Graves and Jango, they got starts, but were unable to, to capitalize on it and build it into something bigger. Um, but a player that got a start, though, and made it into something huge was Jeremy Solazano. So Jeremy Solazano opening the innings with Tanya and Chandapal. You know, he was able to score 111. So he scored a century in this match. Right. So a huge shout out to Jeremy Solazano um, for scoring that century. You know, so he made 111. Um, supporting him well in his innings also was uh, Shamar Springer, who is still at the crease, actually. Um, so Shamar Springer is currently on 45, not out. Um, but um, Solazano and uh, Springer played a... a, 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 a Played in a, in, a, in a good partnership, right? So, um, and they they put on actually a, a hundred run partnership, right? So when they got together, the, the score was one hundred and thirty four for five, and when Solazano got out, the score was two thirty seven for six. So brilliant partnership by Solazano and Shamar Springer, who is forty five not out. Hopefully tomorrow when play resumes, he's able to 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 kick on and um at least make a half century in the match as well. You know, Shamar Springer, um. He's not renowned for his batting, you know, he's more in the team for his bowling, but it's good to see that he's stepping up with the bat and um, doing something 
doing something good for the team, right? So uh, currently at the crease is Shamar Springer on 45 and Joshua Bishop on 6, right? So we'll see when play resumes tomorrow how much more runs they can put on the board um, to give South Africa to, 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 to make um, for first innings, right? So, um, but so far, so good, you know? Uh, again, and I must say a huge shout out to Jeremy Solazana again. You know, he is, I would say, been under the radar, um, at least my radar. You know, I wasn't... Um, expecting much from him to be honest um but he scored a century and that, that's good that's always commendable you know obviously um you know there will be there will be people now going out and saying oh solazano should be in the team um but uh, what i would say to that is um louis seems to be um solid and brad Pitt as well right so that seemed to be a, a set opening partnership for now but obviously if after the south africa series they they don't perform then that can always be revisited right but for the time being um i think louis and brad Pitt should be the the um the opening pair um one to give louis more experience playing at the highest level and of course brad Pitt, um even though he he's had a, a, a tired time with the bat of late um except from this england series you know, over the years, he's been one of our most consistent batter, right? So, and he's the captain of the team. So, dropping him right away, along with his experience, you know, to 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 kind of guide this inexperience uh, batting lineup, um, he is needed in the team, right? Um, bowling for South Africa, though. So, uh, Rabada he took three for forty-seven from nine overs. Um, Dean Peterson he took one for thirty-two. Uh, Miguel Pretorius he took one for twelve. And Dan Pete, he took one for 14. So those are the wicket takers for the South African team so far. You know, um, again, they are on tour, so they're going to use all of their bowlers. So these batsmen are going up against South Africa's best, all of South Africans, all of South Africa bowlers, right? So, you know, for Asolazano to score a century and even um, Springer to get into the 40s. And the batters that, that scored in the 20s as well, Casey Carty, um, Justin Graves. Um, it you must um, say a job well done, you know, coming up against top quality bowling. This is a South African bowling lineup that will play against the West Indies, right? So, you know, they, they must be commended for that. Um, so, yeah, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow when the when play resumes for the second day. You know, also, um, so the ICC, they released their latest rankings, you know, for all formats of the game, right? T20, uh, 